Ms. Robertson, the defendant is your daughter. It's your claim that she owes you a whole bunch of money that you loaned to her, $5,000. You want a title to a mobile home that you put in her name, and the defendant says that the money that you gave her was a gift. The mobile home was a scheme. You needed it out of your name because you get some sort of government assistance. You couldn't show any money. So I have to sort of ferret out what's going on. What kind of disability do you get? I don't get disability. I'm on Social Security. Just Social Security? Yes, ma'am. So, Ms. Perdue, what kind of government assistance were you suggesting that your mother was trying to hide funds from? She wanted to purchase a trailer. And she wanted what? She wanted to purchase a trailer, okay, for me. But then I found out afterwards because she put it in my name. I thought she was purchasing this trailer for me, but she put the trailer in my name because she couldn't claim that money. She couldn't have it in her name as an asset. I'm sorry, that's what I'm trying to say, because otherwise it would consider it as an asset. Does that have to do with medical coverage? No, Your Honor. Why was the mobile home that you purchased in her name? It was purchased in her name is because I was about halfway ill or something. So I told her, I said, if a case I pass, I'm going to put it in your name. That way you can sell the house and split it between the four kids. I understand. So I, you don't, were doing, I don't know what she's talking so about. So you were doing some inventive estate planning. Yes. Well, this inventive estate planning came back and bit you in the behind. Yes, it did. Because once you put the mobile home in her name, it becomes hers. It's a gift. That's what it is. You mean she can actually throw me out on the streets, which she said, after we go to Judge Judy, when we come back, I'm throwing you out on the streets and I'm selling the house. No. Well, yes. Well, no. I want to tell you something. That would not be a nice thing for her to do. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, you have two other children. Three. Three other children. But the law says that if you put a home, a mobile home, in somebody else's name, and according to you, it was done for estate planning, so that when you're no longer around, it will go to the three children. That's what you had hoped for. Well, Miss Robertson, I hope it doesn't happen tomorrow or in the next 10 years, but eventually we're all gonna be gone. Right. Right? So if that was the purpose of your putting it in her name, eventually it's gonna come to pass. So you can't get the mobile home back. You mean when we go home, she can just throw me out in the street? <sighs> Listen, if that's gonna... Are you living... The two of you living together? No, she lives... There's my place, the place, and then her place. Your Honor, please, can I say something? Okay. First of all, the statement about me throwing her in the street is very incorrect. Yes, the statement was made, but it was not made by me. I have no intentions of throwing my mother in the street. Okay. Okay, well, let me ask you a question. Maybe we can resolve this so that your mother is happy. Would you be prepared to sign an order giving your mother a life estate in that mobile home? Which means that during her lifetime, she cannot be excluded from the mobile home that she's currently living in. Will you prepare to sign such an order? I would, under, under some... No, 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 just... Oh. That's either I am prepared to sign it or I'm not. No, I'm not. No, you're not. Yeah, that's what I no. told you.